Hello. I'm Mike. Geoorbital is this wheel. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have I've had a lot of weird ideas in my life, a lot. When I was in college, I wanted to join the Peace Corps, so I joined the Peace Corps. After the Peace Corps, I worked in international development, then I decided I wanted to be an investment banker, so I became an investment banker. After that, I started doing startups. Two years ago, when I was running my last company, I was watching Tron. I'm sure you guys have seen Tron. They have these awesome motorcycles, uh, these bikes. They have the hollow wheels, the orbital wheels. And I was thinking, that, that's, that's really sweet. I really love those bikes. But that's a lot of empty space. That's wasted space. Why don't, why don't they put a battery, why don't they put a motor in that space inside that bike? So that's, that was my idea. So I left my company, and I started building a mini one in my kitchen. Now, the problem is that I have absolutely zero background in engineering. I really have no idea what I'm doing. And I remember thinking really clearly that Adults don't do this. Adults don't leave jobs and start building things in their kitchen. But I did, and it worked out, thankfully. So here's what we have. Six months after I built the first mini, tiny little mini prototype, I met our CTO, a brilliant engineer named Dakota Decker. I met him in a networking event in Cambridge. Uh, he ended up leaving SpaceX to build this wheel with me. Two years later, a lot of engineering work, a lot of bootstrapping, a lot, we all bled for it, and mainly from like accidents and cutting ourselves accidentally while we're doing and prototyping stuff, but we bled for it. We built this. This is really the brainchild of a collaboration between a business guy, mediocre business guy like me, and a brilliant engineer like Dakota. So what we have here is the most powerful, easiest way to convert a bicycle to electric. It takes under a minute to install and absolutely no tools. I'm actually going to demo this for you guys on stage with a prototype, right? Now, this isn't risky at all. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Live demo on stage with an electric vehicle that's in a prototype. I'm joking. We have five generations of these. We have thousands of miles on them with hundreds of beta testers. What I'm doing here is I'm unhooking Velcro straps and I'm doing a quick release on the wheel. And what you see now is a 100% normal bicycle. And what you see here is our wheel. This weighs 20 pounds. It has a battery and a motor. The battery is removable, and the motor is 500 watts. That was the entire removal. Now I'm going to put it back on. This, by the way, if you want to take a look, 100% normal bike. This is exactly how we bought it from the store. I added, I added a belt. I added a belt. But everything else, exactly how it came from the store. So if you have a bike, this wheel will fit it. This is the installation. Oh. So I'm going to turn sideways so I don't show you my best side from the back. Velcro strap. Quick release. Just tighten that up. the Velcro strap on this side. Now these are just kind of redundant there. And a throttle. Just clips right onto your handlebar, any handlebar. Now I took a 100% store-bought, completely unmodified bike and turned it electric. Now I have a little practice in doing it, that's why it took only a few seconds. It'll take you a minute. Now, just to add to this, the cool thing about a wheel that doesn't spin, the cool thing about a wheel that works completely independently from the rest of the bicycle is it doesn't really need the rest of the bicycle to work. So we made this little guy. This is a half a bike. This is a mini penny farthing. This is a unicycle with a training wheel. Because our wheel goes on the front, it doesn't really need the back, we can make funky vehicles like this. 
This is extremely practical, extremely funny, extremely fun, extremely nimble. So to sum up, the world's our oyster, and we made a wheel. Thank you.